we are within the bell chime memory so I'm going to make our way further into this fortress right the planet I don't know what it is the planet I'm going to take out this guy from the air get out see ya I am the shadows Oh look, there's an item over there. Oh, we'll go down this back way. Oh, like a ninja. I think that is the best way to play this game. It's not a straight up combat game like Dark Souls, it really isn't. I need to get out of that mindset. It's a stealth Tenchu game. You're no good in fighting one on one combat. That's where I've been going wrong. more sugar right if I can get on top of here I want to take them guys off from behind and that'll give us that that whole runway clear is that too high nope oh shit look there's guys everywhere Who should I take out first? I want to take out this guy first because he's got a sword. The other guy's got a bow. He should be easier. See ya. Safe? Am I safe? Oh, look, there's one guy over there. I didn't see you. Sit here. <laughs> Do you know what it is? Aerial attacks in games are just my favourite moves ever. Right, let's get to this door. Oh, maybe not. I wish when you climbed up a, up a ledge it automatically put you into stealth mode. It doesn't. It always puts you in standing. Oh, that guy's looking straight at us. If I can wait for him to turn around, I want to get on top of that roof. Hmm. He doesn't seem to want to play, does he? Right, they're all looking in my direction, bore them too. But let's just recon the area. Let's do a recon. Oh look, we've got an archer up there. Tell you what, I'm going on the ground floor. I think we'll have a better chance at assessing the area. I mean, it's good being up high. But that leaves me exposed. Where's he? Oh, look, there's a guy in there. He's got a, the biggest hammer I've ever seen, or an axe. Oh, look, there's items in there as well. There he is. It's so we're, we're, we're safe here. That's not too bad. Don't worry about getting seen. Actually, you know what it is? There is a benefit to being seen. It shows you where all the enemies close to you are because they all get alerted with the with the yellow arrows. So let's just bide our time and then we can do some aerial attacks.
Where was he? Where the hell did all the guys go? Are they all inside this building? Maybe they're hiding in the building because they know I can't get them there. <laughs> there he is. There's two of them. Right, watch this. I want to get him first. I want to go for the one at the back. See ya. Get out. Hit and run, baby, like a ninja. And since we know that when they're yellow, we can do a stealth attack. Let's try and catch them like that. Hit them hard and fast. There's a guy right below us. There's a guy over there. This guy's getting it. Watch this. <laughs> Call me the snake. Call me the snake. Right, he knows where I am. This guy kind of doesn't. This guy's soul is about to be mine. Right, I can hear him walking about in there. Should I risk it? There he is. Big fella. See you're not so big. Absolutely destroyed. Right, let's have a quick explore before we move on to the... There's a section over there with an with a archer. I want to probably take him out first. Because he's got bird's eye view of the area. Oh, hello. Echo Sugar. Um, sugar candy made in Senpao Temple, sustain an Akko's blessing, boost attack power. Okay. Right, let's stick with the way there, we need to go this way. Right, hey, we need to get him first. Get out. Oh, Whoever called this a fire breathing barrel wasn't kidding. Oh, I'm un undetected. You ain't wrong. Oh, he's seen us. Fuck. But they can't get through here, can they? Or can they? Can you open these doors? I'm not too sure. got dogs whoa plenty of dogs and they're pretty they've got <laughs> they've got eyes like hawks we need to stay around the buildings to not get seen all right oh shit he's looking at us Will he ever turn away? Oh, that carefully going back to that starting point. Right, okay, let's just bide our time here. As long as he's dead up there. Look, he's staying there. We can get him from the sky. Watch this. Where's he gone? Oh, he's walking up there. There's a guy there with a big axe. Hmm. 
Hmm. I want to take out this guy. Get out. I love her. Whoa! <laughs> you know what it is? The way you're running this is like such a typical like Japanese ninja with your sword behind your back and your little fast footsteps. It's hilarious. I love it. Oh, that's what we wanted to do as well, didn't we? We wanted to see if we could get over over to that island for that item from this side. Because we couldn't from the other side. Yeah, that's right. That's where we were when we found our way to the shore, but we couldn't. It doesn't look as if we can get past it though. We'll check that out after we've cleared this area. Dogs are barking like, oh look, I've drawn everyone in. But the corn, the corn see us here. That's good. I need to get rid of these dogs. I, the animals in this game, the big cocks and the dogs are like a nightmare. But at least the dogs die with like one or two hits. I'm making so much noise. Do they? I don't know if the no, if they hear the noises or not, or if it's just like a a simple sound effect. Oh, there's an item in there. Right, where's that dog? Where the dog go? There it is. Oh, there's a guy there as well. Right underneath the canopy. It's a shame you haven't got the Tenchu knock. Or is that the Metal Gear Solid knock? Where you can knock against a wall and lure the enemies in. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Get him, get him, get him. That's it, I think there's one guy left. But I want to get whatever's in here first. Oh, there's two guys left. Wait, I think we can get both of these. Oh look he hasn't got the orange, the yellow arrow above him. Oh is he a boss? Oh no he's there. Oh he has got the arrow look. Oh, I've seen us, he's not having, he's not having none of my shit. There he is, there he is, there he is. Right, he's dead. Yo, 
your soul is mine. Awesome. Flame barrel. An iron barrel that spews fire can be fitted to the shinobi prosthetic to become a prosthetic tool. It is difficult to control the rage. It is difficult to control the rage-filled red eyes with the power of man alone. However, a fire-based weapon could be a means of resisting them. They are said to fear, fear fire above all else. People with red eyes fear fire. Okay. Balloon of wealth. Pellet. These candles are deceptive, they're like you think they're items but they're not. Right, before we go any further, I want to find out. Actually, do you know what it is? I'm not. I don't know if you can swim in this, right? And I don't want to... I've cleared all of that out, I don't want to die. I want to I want to continue on. But we'll always come back there later, I hope. Oh shit, look at this guy. Right, we're gonna fight him in combat. Oh, he's got an unblockable attack. I can't block him. I'm stuck in the fucking corner for a start, like. Bloody hell. In a small moment of panic, you can just, like, lose so much health. It's ridiculous. Like, I got stuck on that tree there and I couldn't block. Maybe I was pressing the wrong button. I think I was pressing grappling hook. L2 instead of L1. Shit. Okay. Oh, I don't like narrow corridors. Not at all. I need to get up there. What the hell is this? Those worthless bastards. Hello. <coughs> you are Shinobi, if... If I'm not mistaken, take the shinobi axe from, from the temple and split their skulls wide open. Please. The shinobi axe. Okay, tell you what I need to heal. Right, so the temple. Where the fuck's the temple? two guys over there. Shit. There's something down there. <laughs> Try not to move, it'll make your wounds worse. No, I must go. There is a shinobi hunter among the banished. He's highly skilled. If I don't face him... Oh. I forbid it. You are in no condition. Someone wants to fight me. Why would they want to fight me? Can't get in. Shinobi. Yes. What good are you? You are nowhere to be seen when things went south. Wait, tell me you didn't lead them here yourself. The timing of their attack was perfect. Normally those bandits wouldn't have stood a chance. Yes. Yes, it had to be you. I hope you die, traitor. That's why for some reason everybody thinks that I've led these bandits here. When it couldn't be further from the truth. Maybe they think I've been paid off. There's nothing really to do in here, is it, apart from story? Who... who are you? I'm not a thief. Uh, you... you're the young lord. Oh, thank goodness. Honorable Shinobi, those filthy bandits are after the young lord. 
They've already climbed the hill and set the estate on fire. It looked as if the young lord had no way to escape. I beg of you, Shinobi. Please rescue the young lord. I entrust this to you. Antidote powder. Powerful antidote concocted by the Sunken Valley Clan. Heal state as abnormality poison. Ah, so it's poison cure. Nice. I prayed. Right. Thank you. <laughs> so at least everybody in here doesn't think I'm a traitor. But I think we should equip this if um, we're going to start getting poisoned. Oh, the joy. Everybody loves poisoning games. Right, let's go on this side. Two guys. Oh, he's got yellow on him. Why has he got yellow? Shit. Oh, so yellow means eavesdrop. Okay. Be burning this temple next fall. No, leave it. Go on to the next one. But if there's any offerings, we could give them to Lord Juzo. Enough! We don't take from Buddha. How many times do I have to tell you before it sinks into your sick skull? Please, don't get angry at me, boss. I'm sorry I go so quickly. Right. I'm taking out this guy with the axe first. And that must be the temple. I still hear the music go, the music's so sinister. You're not sure if you're in battle or not sometimes. Or you're not sure if you're about to be in battle. Shinobi Axe of the Monkey. A heavy black iron axe used by the Shinobi can be fitted to the Shinobi prosthetic to become a working prosthetic tool. This boorish axe is used less for cutting and more for breaking things with its weight. Once the favoured weapon of a Shinobi known as the Bounden Monkey of the sunken valley, it was lost among with its left arm, along with its left arm. So, the different shinobi have wielded these tools over the history, and the previous guy was called the Bounden Monkey. Awesome. Now that's two tools we've got. We should probably equip them. Right, what I think I'll do is, I'll clear out this area, And then I'll see if I can make my way back to the bonfire. And see if there's any way of equipping the tools. It's awfully quiet in here though, there's not many enemies. Oh, we're back here, man. Oh, that's a shortcut. Nice. It's got Dark Souls. Dark Souls. Dark Souls style shortcuts. So we could go back. We could go back to the bonfire if we want to do a boat. I want to see if I can just clear out this area first. Oh, shit. Big cocks. I'd much rather fight humans than a uh, than the monsters. They're just so much. They're so unpredictable. There's an item right there. Do you think I could sneak in and get that item without it known? No, I don't want to come back here later. Look, there's two guys over there. There's a guy there. Let's get him first. Oh, he's friendly. Hey, good sir. Are you a looter too? He's a big lad, isn't he? Good sir, you look like a shinobi, I think. 
Oh, is that the Are merchant? That's the merchant. Well, in any case, <laughs> I found this place first. Hmm? <laughs> so, keep your eyes peeled out there, huh? And, uh, you know, don't let the door hit you on the... <sighs> oh, by the way, while I was on my way here, I saw a three-story pagoda on top of some cliff. It was a fine pagoda. Really fine. I bet there's some kind of treasure kept in there. <laughs> Gotta be. That's what I think, at least. Look, that's the merchant. I'm sure that's the merchant that's withholding information. A three-story pagoda. Hey, open up. Open up or else. I can hear you whispering in there. If you don't surrender peaceably now, you're going to regret it later. Hey, can you hear me? Hey. Oh, he's about to hear this. Oh, fuck, he's a beast. Whew. I thought he was just a regular enemy that take two hits and then a, then a finisher. He's <laughs> a bloody tank. He had a beastly axe. It, it's much better to take um, out the enemies with the axes first. Before you fight the enemies with the swords. Oh, hello. Bundle Jizzle statue. Small Buddha effigy bound in red cloth. Raise in prey between one's palms to restore a node of resurrective power. That could come in handy. Oh look, I've got two resurrections left. That's awesome. Right, so we're pretty stocked up if I'm honest. Right, we've been in there. Only place left to explore is this place with the fucking animals. Oh, they've... they haven't moved. Right, let me see if I can just get on the floor and pinch that item. And then I'm going to try a stealth attack. Can you not stealth attack these? Oh, you can't. Oh shit, there's a one over there. There's two over there. Right, let's just wait. Not that I can see, is it? Now's where I am. It's, it's got a shifty eye. See ya. You can crawl as much as you want, everything is dead. Oscar, why I? Is it. You're a crow, not a hawk. Oh, there's one right there. that's coming out who does it think it is get out you fools anything good oh hello there more sugar. What should I do? I'm tempted to progress. But I also don't want to lose my items. Do you, I can't remember. No, actually that doesn't matter. Because once you've collected an item, it stays collected forever, doesn't it? But I suppose if I went back to the bonfire... Oh, that's right, man. I, wanna, I wanted to... See if I can equip these items. Well, tell you what, it's only up here and there's not many enemies. So if I just go back to the bonfire. We're going to make our way through there, no bother. Perfect. And also, I want to explore that water area over there. So at least if I rest now, 
and I die, well then it doesn't really matter. Um, a qu oh, travel man, it's the, it's the what I forgot what he's called, the sculptor. Can we travel back home? Oh, we can. We're not trapped in a memory. This is just a new level. Ah, it makes sense. Tell you what, I want to go and equip me guy with these these prosthetic tools. So we'll be much more powerful. Oh, this is amazing. Actually amazing. Alright, mate. What was that? So, you're back. Was that a dream? Or was it real? Mm -hmm. Whether it was a dream or it was reality, I have no idea. There is one thing I can tell you. The great Buddha has seen fit to awaken old memories within you. What you felt, what you remembered, that is what it all depends upon. I'm not sure if what I saw is what truly happened. That's how it works. Alright, okay. So he's not sure if that memory is accurate or not. Right, let's upgrade. Right. Um, but when we found an item previously that said you use it to craft things. I don't know if you need them to upgrade these, so what do I want first? I, I think I want the heavy axe. Because heavy attacks are much better. One strike can easily turn a wooden shield into splinters or shred an enemy's posture. If we can smash posture, that means it's like one hit kills on everything. I'm going with that. Oh, I won't just do it. Is it always doing this for free? I'll craft that as well then. Perfect. The Shinobi prosthetic. Appears you've taken to it quite well. Here, this is for you. Ah, oh, prosthetic esoteric text. So this is another skill tree in it. Written by a man who abandoned the path of the Shinobi, but could not bring himself to discard his painstaking research. He never expected to pass these on to anyone else. That must be him. What is it? It contains ways to fight into your foes with that fang of yours. In other words, fighting techniques for your prosthetic arm. I see. I had thought that prosthetic techniques wouldn't ever be needed again. But it seems I was wrong. Awesome. Another time then. Right, let's I check it out. You shelter anytime. Alright, let's check these out. I'll have the heavy axe for next, and then the flame. What else did I get again? Oh yes, I am. Oh, I need to go to the bonfire before I can check skills. Now wait there, how do I... How do I switch? Triangle. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> look at that axe. Oh, I'm just going <laughs> to... I'm going to scalp everybody I come across and a flamethrower. I don't really understand how well a flamethrower is going to work on a wooden hand, but let's just suspend belief. <laughs> the axe looks amazing. Right, let's, let's check out our skills, our new skill tree. Right, so what we've got, that's Shinobi art, prosthetic art. Chase and Slice. A shinobi martial art that allows one to perform a forward dash and sword slice after using a certain prosthetic tools, allowing one to close the distance on enemies. Loaded Shuriken. Alright, so by the looks of the picture, you fire a shuriken, then do a forward slash. I mean, it's, it's definitely good for closing the distance, like. What's this? Grappling hook attack. Uses the grappling hook to launch oneself at an enemy and use that momentum to perform a rolling sword attack. So you don't grapple the enemy, you grapple the roof. 
So that's going to be like really situational. The Shinomi prosthetic is a perfect tool for combining movement and attack into one. Hmm. So you're going to have to be at specific places where you can grapple to use that. I'm still not. I've only got one skill point. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna spend it yet because I don't know. I don't know what I want. By finding, by coming across enemies and finding out what they're strong against, that's what I want to use my skill points on, so I don't waste them on something that I'm not gonna use for a long time. What level am I even? Level three. So when do you get a skill point? Every other level. Right, let's travel back. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do when I travel back here. I'm gonna explore the water. Because we should be able to avoid the enemies, I think. Yeah, if we walk along this rooftop, we can... We'll end up on the water's edge. Cool. Shit. Guy's gonna see us. Oh, it's a stupid snipe by his back. What a dick. I didn't like the look of them big fish, like, am I going to get eight going across here? Right, as soon as I get on top of the land, I want to drop down. Is that all land? Oh, it's all land. Right, let's go. Well, there's no going back now. Oh look, the fucking fish is looking at us. Oh look, that's the moment of truth. I'm scared. Oh, I can swim. I can swim. Oh, well, let's just go and get that item. Quick, 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 before the fish gets us. <laughs> He's a dolphin. Me guy's a dolphin. That is hilarious. If you swim in the water and press jump, you swim like a dolphin. I've never seen anything as good in my life. Someone locked him in a in a vase. No about carp scales. The sparkling, shining scales of the treasure card. Bring them to me, and I'll reward you handsomely. Look at that creepy hand. Carp scales. So what does he sell? Divine grass. Fully restores vitality and cures all status. That's really good. You can only carry one at a time, no one per rest of bonfire. A curved withered red gourd filled with the medicinal water. The gourd's medicine fills upon rest. Oh, is that more health? Reduces burn buildup and slightly increases burn resistance. It cannot heal the burn status though. So it's more like a resistance. That's, that's really good. Mask Fragment. A fragment of an old dancer's mask. The Dancer. I wonder if that's a reference to Dark Souls 3. The original must have been broken into several pieces and the fragment appears to be the right side of the mask. Floating Passage Text. Compendium on Combat Art. Floating Passage. Skill unlocked upon acquiring this item. Unleash attacks in a flowing dance-like form. Overwhelming enemies in a furor of graceful aggression. This technique belongs to the Ashina Sword School although it has been deemed Heretical, due to its foreign origin, I need that. Five scales. Looks like we're going fishing, lads. Right, come on. We're going to have to hunt these fish. I don't know how dangerous they are, like. Right, I wonder if I can stealth attack it. Oh. 
it's too fast. I heard a door. So it takes two sword slashes to kill. Okay. Oh look, there's one. That's a lot lower down. Oh, it's right below. Can I swim below the water? I don't like this. I feel so uneasy being in this dark water. Don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it one bit. Oh look, there it is. Is that the one I damaged? What the fuck? Kill it. I got it. Nice. But that one swam away. Right, come on. We can do this. We only need five. Oh, there's one behind us. Oh, look, there's that one that... Oh, it's run away. That one comes back, and at least it's only got half health. Wait there, look, it's, it's only over there. It can't go any further. It's trapped in the wall. Nice. Come on, get, get, let, let's get up, let us get up. Oh, it's disappeared. Hey, look, there's a pathway up there. There it is. Oh, you son of a bitch. Got it. That's two. Three more. Three more and I've got this item. It'll be the first skill we've got. Or we, we unlock. But I wonder if there's finite of them. Do these respawn? or, or Maybe they respawn after a bonfire. That's alright if they do. There's one. Too low. It was too... Too deep. It's just too deep. See what, I'm going up there first. I want to explore up there. Yeah. I think they might only respawn once you hit a bonfire. And the ones around here are so much easier to get. I need to get up there. Oh no, it's not. It's an invisible wall. Ah, uh, you can't. That's the edge of the map. Fair enough. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to test this out. I'm going to test this homeward idol out because I've never used it before. Last communed idol. So that should take us back over there. I'll teleport back there. I'll come back and see if th these, these fish respawn. I'm excited to get this skill. It sounds like a relentless attack. This might be able to smash through everybody's armour.
doesn't matter if I alert him because I can't get down anyway. See ya. Oh, that's them over there. I thought it was fish. Right, are these fish back? Oh, wait there. I didn't rest up the bonfire, did I? Oh, I didn't rest up the bloody bonfire means that things don't respawn. What an idiot. I do like how you can use this 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 item to, to return to previous bonfires with no penalty. It's really good. Ninja run. Nah, I think these fish are. Now nah, these fish don't respawn. Bullshit. Hey, Alright, mate, I've spoke to you. Are you that yes. needy? Oh, I was, I was right on top of one. Tell you what, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna swim about and see if I can find any. I'll just keep clicking the lock on button till it, till it finds one for us. There's gotta be loads in this lake. If I get ate by a big fish here, I'm not going to be best pleased. Look, there's one there. This one's right on the surface. Awesome. Right, let's just make sure it doesn't see us. Ah, oh, fucking you. Ooh, secret items, look. Oh, we, I've collected this before. Did I? I'm sh oh, no, not this one behind here. Treasure Corp scale, nice. Oh, we only need two more. I'm scared to go down there, like. Look, there's one there. Is that a fish? There it is. I need to stay directly behind it. Hopefully it doesn't see us. That's fucking got us. Fuck you, bitch. One more. Come on, baby. It's gonna be that one. Is that it there? Maybe there's only five in this lake because there's two. There was two that I killed, one behind us. I found a free scale, and there's this one in this 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 path here. In this lock. Fucking Nessie, we Nessie. There it is, but it's so deep. Like, how am I supposed to get that? Come on, baby. <laughs> they like him. They like the crystal lizards. They disappear after so long. Come on, I'm one shot away. Don't do me like this. Can we not use the... Watch this.
it does tiny damage. But then again, the health doesn't respawn, does it? I think it's going to take more than 14 shurikens to kill that bastard. Oh, can you charge the shuriken up? Will it respawn? Nah, there's no way I'm not I'm not gonna be able to kill that with these fuck. But I'm gonna go hunting quite far afield for the last one. And then if I get that, we can get the skill and then call it an episode. Call me the fisherman. Dark fisherman's <laughs> Sekiro fisherman's die twice. Come on, please have one above the surface. I'm feeling so uneasy, I hate big bodies of water. Oh, invisible wall, you can't go any further. That's it. That's the only one left. And I can't get to it. Oh, we might have to go away being defeated. Not be able to kill this fish. We are. No way. Oh, you can swim faster by pressing O, because I've been holding, I've been holding O down to swim. And I thought that was as fast as it goes. You can, pr can you dive below the water? No. Oh, look, there's a fish there. Oh, I was so close. I was so close. Oh, tapping O. We might be able to catch them now. Oh, because you can do a stab lock. Right. You've just, you've just got to learn the techniques, haven't you? I thought it was over here, wasn't it? Come on, baby. Where's it gone? Come on, make yourself visible. Show yourself. Got it? I fucking got the bastard. <laughs> you will never be a fisherman. Yes, I will. Hey, did you bring me any scales? If you I did. I will reward you handsomely. I want this. The floating passage text. I bet you that's amazing. That mask fragment. But I don't know what it's for. I'm not bothered about that. But it, it's it's a good item to have because it refills like a permanent inventory item like your gourd. But I need this. I thank you for your kindness. Please bring more scales soon. Well, I've, I've absolutely combat arts. Combat arts are special attack skills based on the strength of the fighting style they belong to. They must be equipped in the equipment menu to be used. Okay. And can be learned through the skill menu or found in special esoteric text. Right bumper while holding left. Oh, so this is very similar to the, the, the spinning attack, isn't it? Combat art can now be equipped in the equipment menu. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, it's amazing. It's amazing. And you don't have any stamina. You can just... Right, so, so how it works is you initiate it with left bumper and right bumper and then just continue. And then just to continue attacking with right bumper to finish off the, the, the combo. We are so much more lethal now. Right, let me have a look. 
I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the last communicated idol. <sighs> Amazing, that was well worth it. This this episode we've getting so tooled up. We've got three prosthetic upgrades to take on a rest. And this is where we'll continue next time. Yeah, we've got three prosthetic upgrades, the flamethrower, the axe, and we've also getting a new combat art, which is a, an unbelievably fast, and I don't know if it's damaging, but it hits five times. I think it's five times. That's going to be phenomenal, I imagine, for taking people's, um, I forgot what it's called in this game, but the, the poise, taking that poise down for a lethal attack. I can't wait to test it, and we'll test it in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed it, lads. See you there.